So you notice a home, you like it, it goes under contract and a week later you notice that it's back on the market. The first thing that you think of is that something is wrong with the house. Hi everybody, my name is Marianne Knowles. I'm with Team Knowles Tampa Bay at Lively Real Estate and today we're talking about some common reasons why you may see a home go back on the market. First, let me start by saying that every state is different, but here in the state of Florida, the purchase and sales contract has three contingencies that have to be met in order for a loan to be approved. The first contingency is financing. One of my most recent videos, I was talking about some common mistakes that buyers make after they have applied for a loan. And it could be things like maybe they made a large purchase that affected their debt to income ratio. Maybe they co-signed a loan for somebody. Could be other things like maybe HOA fees are higher than they thought and it's just not feasible for them to pay both a mortgage and, a, and an HOA fee. But for financing to fall through, unfortunately it is common and it does cause the home to go back on the market. The second contingency is the inspection contingency. Now, when you're a buyer and you go under contract, you're gonna hire an inspector, they're gonna do a home inspection and any other type of inspection that you want done during your due diligence period. And the job of an inspector is to find fault with the home. So they're gonna provide a lengthy report of all of the things that they have found and they're gonna bring it to your attention. So as a buyer, you're gonna negotiate with that seller with the help of your agent. And sometimes they just can't come to an agreement. A lot of times it could affect the loan if it's a heavy ticket item, like the roof, the AC, the plumbing, and the electrical. Those four things have to pass what's called a four point inspection in order for a buyer to obtain a loan. So it could be something as simple as the buyer and seller just couldn't come to an agreement and the home went back on the market. The third contingency is the appraisal contingency. This is when an appraiser is going to go in. He or she is gonna look at the comparables in the surrounding areas and the neighborhood, and they're gonna give a fair market value on what the home is appraised at. And sometimes the appraisal comes short of what the actual negotiated price is. In that case, you either have the seller who has to drop the price, you would either have the buyer who would have to pay the difference out of pocket, or they would have to come to some sort of an agreement. And there are times when buyer and seller just can't come to an agreement and the deal falls through. And then sometimes there are just times where the buyer just gets cold feet. It happens all the time, especially if the market is hot and they need to make a hasty decision and submit an offer because they wanna beat somebody else from submitting an offer. They may just change their mind over time and realize that it wasn't the place or the house after all. So it's very common for a home to go back on the market. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with it, but I do understand it's the first thing that we're gonna think of. But there's so much more that could affect a home going on the market. These are the most common. Please know I'm always happy to help. If you have any questions, just reach out and we'll chat. Take care.